Hey guys, my name is Kilroy. Today's Thursday, May 19th, and you're watching Mako TV. We're gonna start a new segment, a new segment, a news segment that's also new. <laughs> It's gonna, we're gonna cover some of the, the things that are going on Airsoft. So anytime you see this intro, that's what we're doing. So, welcome to the news segment. Brought to you by Airsoft Today, World Airsoft News. All right, so here we go. Uh, first topic that I found interesting that uh, we found recently is WE. We all know that they're like the king suddenly of producing gas blowback rifles, pistols, you name it, they're pushing it out. Um, w just, re just released a video of the new AK gas blowback. Take a look. That was just a clip of one of the three that they released. Uh, there's no further details given, it's just strictly that video. I don't know if you guys subscribe to Red Wolf Air Airsoft like I do, um, but they just released a review of the L85, the ga WE Gas Blowback L85. It's pretty cool as well, but I'm really stoked to see this uh, AK in action. Moving on to the next story, uh, ICS just released their new SIG Dark Earth series. Same models, you know, you got the 551, the 552, you got the long barrels and the short barrels. Um, but now they're releasing them in the darker, the, the darker tan. They look pretty sweet. Check them out. Those should be coming out sometime this year, but no further details have been released. Uh, for all the info you need on that, walk up, get over there and go to uh, icsbb.com. Moving on to the next story. I know everybody's doing it, but I wouldn't be an informed airsoft if I don't talk about it. Uh, the bill that's going through California right now, the SP-798, that's going to have retailers have brightly colored, skittle colored guns, AEG, Springers, all that crap, maybe even clear guns, back to those aftermaths you get at you know, a sporting goods store. It's a bummer, uh, because the actions of one individual is going to ruin it for the entire community, which sucks all the way around. A lot of the importing of the, the guns, the AEGs and the, the gas blowbacks and stuff, come in through the West Coast. They come through the East Coast as well, but they're a little higher higher price from what I've I've seen and reviewed. But Echo One posted a video. Well, everybody put put it out there. Um, Evike, um, Airsoft GI, Air Splat, Red Wolf, all those retailers over there all came together, made a video to add, beg us to help them petition this this bill. So check it out. Do what you can. But for more details on the stories you heard and more, click the uh, check the description below. Go to airsofttoday.com, click on the news outlet, check out their TV episodes, their forum, their trade forums. It's a pretty good site. They're based out of Austria. Um, I've been talking with the guy that runs the site. He's pretty sweet. So check out the whole site. Bounce around, register, um, get to know some guys on the other side of the country. But let's get on to the meat and potatoes, the action, which you guys really look forward to, I know. I went out to Kansas City Airsoft Club this weekend. I had about only like 14, 15 guys, 7 on 7. But it was some pretty solid games. Um, I had a lot of fun. I ran Big Baby, my DMR. Piss some people off because I was just single shotting them left and right. I think people get mad when you can just wait for a target and then take them out. But that's that's my style. So I'll shut up and let you guys watch the footage.
He's down, he's down, he's down, he's down! He's hit. Okay. Just doing a follow up. <laughs> So as you can see, not a lot of guys, um, not very many targets, so I had to do quite a bit of stalking, track, track my target, wait for the shot, take them out. Um, there's a couple of shots where I took off my helmet and because it kept getting in the way and I was thinking the flashing light on the GoPro was giving me away. So I took that off, that's what the dirt shots were. Um, uh, when I shot the guy twice, he, in that section where you just see my leg moving and you hear me shoot and then the guy says hit and then he goes back down, you can't really see him because he's off screen. But, he thought he had a gun malfunction, thought he ended up shooting himself somehow, so he's just going back down, I shot him again, he goes, oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. So, it was pretty funny. It's time for some plugging. Oh. Alright, let's get the plugging going. Okay. Um, Tactile Airsoft Base, on the 21st, is coming Saturday. They're having an open play, it's also a little man's birthday party. So if you know a little man, want to give him some support, tell him how small he is, and <laughs> jump out there, give him a, give him a hello. Pat him on the back, that kind of thing. You don't have to bring him a present, but if you really want to be a good person, I guess you could. Tell us on Little Man's Birthday Party game on the 21st, this coming Saturday. I'll put a clickable link in the description. Um, on the same day, out at um, Kansas, KCAC's field, they're hosting a another game. So, KCAC's games are always really good, lots of good guys. Um, lots of guys that like to wear pretty cool looking gear, so that's a pr different crowd. But on the following Sunday, they're also hosting another game. So you have two chances to get out to Kansas City Airsoft Club this weekend. So if you want to ch chase JC and Tab, you got a chance to do that all this weekend. So for information on Kansas City Airsoft Club games, go to KansasCityAirsoftClub.com. I'll put a clickable link once again in the description. If you want to see the fields before you go out to either game, check across here. I'll post a episode of Tab and KCAC 
and you guys can check them out, see what their fields look, fields look like. Guys, unfortunately, that's all we got for this episode. Next weekend, we're going back out to Fort Riley. Um, the Bob Phoenix overview video got a big good response, and they want to do another video, so we're going back out there. So we're going to have some more Fort Riley gameplay footage for you, and we're going to go over some more of the, the, the expected loadouts for each team. Um, we're going to have some insurgents, EOD, Marine. I'll be in my Marine loadout showing you guys what I'll be wearing at the op. So stay tuned for that. Um, hope you enjoyed episode 12. Until next time, mags out and safety's on.